is everybody? Coming to you another YouTube video. Here we are, internationally renowned worldwide. Think it's worth that crypto muscle and the crypto muscle network. Coming to you another video. All right. Uh, well, obviously, um, if you're tuning in, I am on vacation, so I don't want to leave empty-handed, and so that's why I have provided content for your listening pleasure, and uh, being able to uh, just kind of give you some uh, stuff that's gone on throughout time you know my t and it's all about crypto muscle and the history uh, the life the strategies uh, just things everything anything and everything I felt like this is a, a good way to cover uh, all kinds of different stuff you know, topical wise um, about me on YouTube you know and so this is where we're at for what it's worth. Um, last episode, I kind of talked about my two channels and what I do with my two channels. And started diving into some of the characters in, in the space that uh, I dealt with from the past. Man, uh, yeah, I dealt with in the past. And um, why I started my YouTube channels uh, for that mission of really to tell everything like it is share opportunities and just crush the, the shitty ass youtubers that shouldn't even be in the space and so far we've done a good job of doing all that you know so um you know that, that's where it's at right uh meeting the right friends in the space right and uh met a lot of good people in the space and again um if it wasn't for the legendary Oracle, all right, I always give credit where credit is due. I would not be where I'm in this space today because I couldn't have done it without, you know, his friendly advice um, and just, just direction, you know. Uh, sometimes you got to follow a winner to be a winner, and that's what I did, certainly. And that's where I'm at to this day, all right. And I enjoy doing the content, all right, daily content every day. And so um, that's where I'm at with it. Um, in terms of the characters, I, you know, that's why I started YouTube, right? I talked about all that in the last video. And I still carry on. I carry on even if those characters fall out, right? Because there's always going to be new ones that crop up. Like a pimple, you know, they just don't go away. Like a roach, they don't go away. So, for example, Marcus Dickhead, Caleb, right? One thing about him is that, you know what? He probably does a good job when it comes to um, gaining, I guess, a group of people to follow. One, though, is that he's terrible. <laughs> Two... Uh, he's fake. Three, um, he doesn't really bring any value. All he cares about is himself and money. That's it. Money for himself. That's all he cares about. He don't bring nothing to the table. All right. And I've dispelled, I've proven, I've done all kinds of stuff over time. And... You know, the stuff I do versus the stuff he does, right? This is the present day pimple that we've already eradicated from the past. You know, we got rid of the Tiwis, we got rid of the Bits of Ways, and countless of other shitty ass YouTubers, right? Same thing with this one. This numb nut, all right, piece of shit, claims to be religious, all that shit. But blatantly lie in your face all the time. All the time. When he wants to talk about a platform, he talks about it, all right? He pushes the shit hard. Which is fine if you're trying to go max effort. But at the same time, you can't be lying to people all the time, which he does. Like, <laughs> on the real. Like, all the damn time. It's like, dude, you're so fucking selfish, man. And there's there's a there there is an audience out there that can really attest 
to how trashy and a piece of shit individual Marcos is. Alright? He's so fucking selfish that he, he really shows that he's in it for himself. Because he's a fucking bitch. And that's the truth. It's just, it's just being straight up. Right? And the only reason why I came across him because we happen to run in similar circles, right? He's newer. Because I've been around YouTube now since um, crypto YouTube since 2017 in terms of viewership, watching. I've been on person on YouTube personally since 2019. And not one time has this dude pop up until more recently, the last couple of years. All right. And uh, all I can say is that he sounded promising at the very beginning, more real. At the very, very, very beginning. And then all of a sudden, you know, he started to like gain an ego and started to become selfish and then you could tell when shit was going on he would buy the views he would buy subs and do all kinds of stupid ass bullshit to where he has 43,000 subs which literally came in the next few days from I mean he was sitting at 2,000 subs barely hitting 2,000 subs right and then all of a sudden as time went on, it, it was growing massive. And that wasn't real. You could tell it wasn't organic. Because he's a dumbass for buying the subs. Like a dummy. All right. But then the views on the videos don't really correlate with the amount of subs that he has. And that obviously really shows. It's it's bad. <laughs> the, the, the proportion is so disproportionate proportionate disproportionate that it's like dude you're a clown for doing that so yeah like <laughs> T not T Marcos is such a clown so he's a clown he lies to you all the time he's a nerd and definitely a piece of shit I mean what positive things you could say about this guy really nothing um well you know, he's nothing worth really because he doesn't like i said bring any value all he does is he puts it out there and he's only doing it for himself selfishly right for someone that says i don't give financial advice but i recommend this and it's like um <laughs> i laugh every time every time you got to read my disclaimer. I, I don't give financial advice. It's particularly, and, and, and like a dummy, he, he'll particularly point out U.S. and Canada, right? He thinks he's going to be able to, you know, skirt around things and bypass things and, you know, have limitations on things in such a way and how he doesn't provide financial advice, but yet, you know, he'll recommend things. And it's like... Uh, that's still giving advice, you dumbass clown, right? And so, um, you know, it's just funny when you hear shit like that. You just laugh, you know? So that's what we got with that bullshitter, all right? And, um, you know, if anything else that comes up throughout YouTube time and warrants calling out somebody, oh, I'm on it. That's always been part of the mission, you know, when uh, platforms start going to shit, but they don't want to admit it. That's why I do my death watch videos, right? So when I do that, I don't give a shit, all right? It warrants that, you know, because of the way other, let's say, YouTubers are talking about it, but yet... It's not happening for the rest of us, you know, in terms of good results. So that really kind of tells you something, too, that, you know, I don't give a shit. 
I'll call the platform out too on Death Watch. And that's what you've seen throughout the time so far, the most recent times. I'll call out Death Watch on these platforms. So that's what I do, right? Besides the opportunities and calling out people, calling out platforms, right? I talk about all kinds of stuff. I cover all kinds of stuff because it's it's worthwhile to talk about it. Warren's talking about things like that, right? That's the value I bring to it. And plus, I like to show withdrawals live, all that stuff. So when you look at what I do, I really bring it each and every day, 100% max effort, two to five videos a day. When I first talked about, uh, you know, how do I come up with that? I started doing one video, you know, every couple of days. I was like, man, I feel like it's not enough. Started doing it every day. I was like, man, one video is not going to do it every day. Two. All right, we're going somewhere now, but still not enough. Three. It's starting to get better. Uh, three a day. Okay, I get it. Four. All right, now it's starting to get a little bit of work there. Um, and I stopped it at four before at max. And then, uh, you know, I'll do two to four videos a day. You know, given that it depends on the day. Uh, if it warrants doing four videos and everything. So I started doing this over time, right? Two to four videos a day over time. As time went on, um, you know, time went on, time went on, time went on, right? Got to the point where I was like, man, there's just so much going on in terms of great growth and and everything that's been happening during that time, the rise in crypto and all that again. Um and just being busy, it's like, oh shit, man, I, it's, I started doing a fifth video a day. So now my whole thing is doing two to five videos a day, uh, 15 minute, two second videos, sometimes one second, depending. And what does that mean? Well, um, I'll let the cat out of the bag on that one if you haven't heard from the past. I, it's the limitation of my software. <laughs> the software limits me at 15 minutes. But at the same time, I agreed with it because uh, I was looking at, well, 15 minutes covers a lot of time and information. If I do a short five minute or even an eight minute, you know, just half the time, eight minute clip, I feel like there's not enough coverage. But 15 minutes is more than enough time to hammer down the point. And so that's why I just stuck with it. I, I just thought, all right, it's good enough time. So I stuck with it and been on it ever since and so that's how I came up with the two to fifty five videos a day and how I came up with 15 minute two second videos is because of this limitation of my software and the direction I wanted to go with my channels is to provide yeah at least two to five videos I didn't mind that it was actually very cool and so that's how I came to be All right the types of content I bring, the amount of minutes I put into a video on, on average, two to five videos a day, and I do it seven days a week. Why I do it seven days a week? I don't know. I just, um, I feel like I could do it seven days a week. I mean, straight up. There's just so much to talk about all the time, and that's why I do it seven days a week. And I don't mind doing it. But I, I love doing content creation, you know. And so that's how I go about things on YouTube. That's how I go about things in crypto, right? Is going about it like this, you know? And I think you could build a lot of trust when you bring a lot of facts, right? And that's what I do. I bring the facts all the time, you know? So just saying, there's a difference between me and the losers like Marcos. He's a fucking dick. Like that in the space. Tiwi. Straight up dick. But he's gone now because I call this shit out. Alright. Gone. That's on him. Alright. Watch my drip video every Sunday. I, I do a weekly smashing on all those people there. So other than that. Comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.